Good morning. I vlogged vlogged first. So I do my personal journals basically <laughs> on video chat. Oh, not video chat. <laughs> what do I say? Video. This video. Seems like I came to the conclusion. At first sight you might not think of it but it had a lot to do with what I said in the last video, in the video last night, the pink one, uh, purple one, depending on how you see that color, where the part of me that's been dormant, that's been outcasted, that's been like told, hey, we don't need you, go quiet, locked up, <laughs> is like started to come out kind of like these plants by the way also we got a surprise overnight that's no it's no it's no but yeah kind of like these plants you know like go like emerging <laughs> emerging from yeah the the being locked away part being buried part and it was interesting, it was so interesting when I saw it from that point of view. And it's very likely what that is. There's other components to it, but yeah, the part that's that I'm going to tell you about that's not that personal. It's uh, this alien eater of mankind. <laughs> I don't know. It's a really strange, strange little thing. Um, I need to freaking... I might take an iris and put it in one of the pots and see if that makes it come back alive. Anyway, yeah. I, I still feel like I should cut my hair. I think it is perfect for what's happening. I was also thinking like, Nelson say no. He's changed his beard and has had so many haircuts since we met. And I mean, his hair is shorter, so... It requires more haircuts, I guess, but because when your hair is shorter, growth looks more and it's messier. When it's like this, it's like you're not gonna notice growth that much. He's had at least one type of beard situation that I did not care for at all, and I told him, like, uh, hopefully, I won't see that again <laughs> on you, but. I would be fine. It grows back and whatever. And even there, there are moments when I appreciate it, looking back at pictures uh, with that. You know, it's like, it's okay. But for some reason, I didn't like it. I don't know why. And he thinks I'm cute with short hair, but he doesn't want me to cut my hair. Uh, or he would prefer, I think it's nicer to say it, he would prefer me not to because the internet might take it in a, another direction. And that's not what's going on. Um, but yeah, so how would I look with like <laughs> it wouldn't look this this way, this puffy. It's weird when you like do that because it's not quite the the shape, you know. But uh, something like that. I do kind of look a little boyish. Anyways, let's go start the day. He might be ready way before I am. I. I am tired. I woke up at 11, barely, like I kept snoozing and snoozing. At 10.45, my alarm was for 10.45, it went off first time, and I, I woke up at 11.30. No, 11.15 probably, because I spoke a lot. But yeah, it was just such an interesting, definitely an interesting dream, but also like an interesting... It was interesting once I understood the dream and like me tapping into that person, into that me. Ah, it just feels so. It feels good, exciting, scary. Nervous. I'm nervous about it, but definitely like it feels like my life force is coming back. And I always said, like, these, my vlogs usually are so long. I like long vlogs. I hate 15 minute vlogs. 
unless all you do is like show me like hey let's go do this okay let's go do that like no talk to me talk about your life how are you feeling what are you doing actually take me with you <laughs> through your life or you know tell me what happened or whatnot um and yeah because otherwise if it's just like go 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 like yeah, i don't need 15 minutes of that 45 minutes of that but um i like longer videos but there are some times when it, uh, longer videos that i like that i kind of get over um being long like just get to the point um those are more like the reaction videos that turn into a vlog or a podcast you know um sometimes i don't know so but i always thought well if i would feel confident well i didn't i always thought that i always needed to find my niche i didn't think i don't think i knew this word at that time maybe i did you can see like my first video or second video ever i was talking about like in the meantime i'm just gonna pick up the camera and just do it like nike and i will figure out hopefully what my area is what my thing is um and for the creative videos um because at that time i was looking at lily singh and she had her vlog on one side but then the the videos that were really making her um famous or profit or um profitable or popular is what i really meant um were creative and they were interesting and one thing that i loved most about that was the creation process and my therapist picked up on this too he's like so it sounds like you it doesn't really matter what you do so i was like i could easily be designing clothes <laughs> you know i could do this like marketing strategic planning thing it's like but it sounds like you want to one there needs to be a collaboration with the team teamwork and then two you need to uh, it's about a process he didn't say it exactly like this but um and i was like yeah i guess so it is the process the process of making an album making a movie making a video a creative video one of my favorite things that i ever did was make a parody because it had every element of what i like it had the planning it out it had the um, um making the lyrics in a somewhat fast manner it was very like methodical lyrics it wasn't oh how do i feel and let me put that on paper it was i had a topic and i needed to put lyric words together for that topic to sound to rhyme to sound good to make sense to be concise to deliver that meaning concisely so it was like a challenge on that level and a fun thing to do because i like used my brain to do it if that makes any sense instead of like my heart and like and i love those songwritings too but i i definitely thrive and when i say thrive i also mean i come alive and um it's nourishing for me these types of projects where it's very much like here's the plan kind of like the 48 hour film project here's the, the structure uh this is what the project is this is how it's spanning you know you have 48 hours you have a week you have whatever and you have this amount of time to do this part you have this amount of time to do that part you have this amount of time to do the other part i was a born project manager um and then you do it and so like i did the lyrics i and um then i would like plan out the video treatment and that's another thing that's in me that i i remember doing to like enrique Iglesias songs for some reason his songs make music videos basically in my head and i would write it out what would happen per beat or per lyric sometimes like a beat calls for a change or a scene sometimes um a lyric a word a phrase calls for it um and so you, but the again this had like an overarching theme to it like 
being a guy versus a girl in Romania and how like more relaxed parents are with a guy. That was like my one parody and I remember um, this one song, it was also like interesting because the song I had, I don't know if I first heard it but I definitely heard it on my way to meet this one guy I saw at that time. Um, ironically for his birthday we just went on a one date and he invited me over for his birthday and then his ex slash cousin was there yes he dated his cousin and um i was like wait is this because you like me or is this because of other things and either way i was like yeah you're cute and i don't care i'm not in love with you so yeah i don't <laughs> let's just date and have fun um but anyway so <laughs> it's that was a whole other little can of worms of how like stressed and frustrated I was with how that was turned around people turn things around to make themselves out to be the hero or feel better but it's very frustrating so I've done that you've done that everyone does that it's still frustrating anyway so um it was also like those things coming together, everything having a meaning, very Taylor Swifty. And so I took that song, I was at American Greetings at that time, and <laughs> I wrote out um, the song because it just like was coming out of me. And I, I was like doing th uh, some work and I was like, oh my gosh, I have this lyric. And I was doing more, and I was like, this lyric. And I, and I finished that whole song there I was working part-time and <laughs> and I finished everything there in the four hours five hours I was there it was like not even it was half an hour of songwriting it was just like flowed and then I had like visions of how it would go and then I had personas like I was like okay one like if my mom would have seen me dress as a guy and put a fake beard on she would like go crazy somewhat not really but she would not be happy and so it was that rebellion that um oh i'm gonna you know be myself regardless of what anyone feels about that i'm not hurting anyone so it doesn't matter and then um like i i laid out the plan of what I'm filming and when and like you know these scenes go together because I'm dressed as the guy and these scenes have to be filmed together and that way and I need this equipment and I had um, a ring light borrowed from some family friends of ours and um, it, it just like came together um, and then you have this finished product and I edited it and all that and then you have this finished product um, and that was a hard one to edit because of the back and forth of the lyrics and you know having it um, and then you release it and it's just that is the most fulfilling thing that is what I want whatever shape it comes from it comes in you know whether it's like YouTube film music marketing some random business division that needs project management in that way where you have at the end of it a product whether it's a intangible or tangible product um that is how i work that is like that's like the smooth real path that, that no friction just magic and I do magic and I flourish and my work is amazing that's the part that's that's the thing so yeah if you have a job in mind um that you can think of where I can be of service let me know <laughs> but yeah all right let's let's start the day though cool I will talk to you later Bye. yeah that was that was that was like a little spotty Anyways, cool. Bye. Triggering an amazing I'll leave the block because that's like reaching its end of these. Also, I made that block. It has two small organic avocados because they were cheaper where they didn't have the non-organic kind that was like
bunch together. I think they were on sale. Yeah, they were cheaper. And one good set of those Doroi. And then some garlic powder and salt. I put too much salt. Don't have cilantro, unfortunately. I thought about growing cilantro because I don't always need it and it's nice to just have like, like that, but yeah. Let me know in the comments below. Is this, is this a better view or is this a better view? I don't think, <laughs> I think you'll be like, uh, neither. There you go, that's better. All right. So, I'm basically having lunch. Yeah, this is not a Kaiser roll. It looks like it, it's an imposter Kaiser roll. It smells not like a Kaiser roll though. I mean, look at that. Look at that. How how dry it is and like spongy. It's just really weird. I don't even want to eat it. It makes my teeth hurt just looking at it. <laughs> oh, maybe just a little, a little bit. And it freaking has sugar. I would have yelled out louder if I was inside my own home. That is a horrible. Whoever invented this thing here in the US, you're lying to the American people. You're lying to the American people. All right, anyways, I'm gonna go eat my, where's my butter? <laughs> eat my toast and sardine. <laughs> So I'm, I'm in search, if you are around the northeastern Ohio region, I can't talk right now, um, and you know of a good Kaiser roll, uh, authentic, actual Kaiser roll, not this crap, um, definitely let me know, definitely let me know. You have no idea how much I miss it. I would visit Austria, I, I'm not from there. But, oh my gosh, there's nothing better than a Kaiser roll sandwich with a like, really good deli meat. Not the crab deli meat. With like, that's like, that has this film on it and stuff. No. Really good deli meat. And like, mayo, I think. I don't even remember. It's been a long time. I should go to Austria and visit my family there. And really just for the Kaiser rolls. Kaiser roll sandwiches from Bila. I think from Bila. Like the grocery store. Uh, or Spar. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember which one they had. But yeah, they, we went on this road trip and they ordered sandwiches basically. And so good. So good. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <coughs> Hairball. <coughs> Anyways, I started watching this vlogger based on my friend's recommendation. She says she loves her and I love her and I relate to her in so many ways. In some ways, I'm like, I want to be her when I grow up. In some ways, I don't. And in some ways, I'm right there with her. In some ways, I'm not. <laughs> but Kalel, uh, you might know her. I don't know. I have been off the vlogging world, YouTube, YouTubers world. I've been using YouTube for tutorials, for learning like marketing trends what's new what's happening blah blah, blah. um psychology so yeah but i love her in this video alone it's her like chill vlog um the flyaways i'm gonna try that because i'm with her i don't want the slick you have oily hair 
kind of look i just want my flyaways to not be and then um there's something else that i wanted to try the glasses look really cool but I, I forget anyways what is that what is that that looks like rust why would rust be on top of doing this oh no those look like wait are things burrowed in there that is so weird it looks like I might have like a huge surprise in the summer wasps or something. I don't, I have no idea what that can be. Anyways, I never even looked at the ceiling. I didn't even know what pattern we had. I had we, yeah, me, myself, and I. A few thoughts on the vlogging research that I did today. Like, Glasses are falling. <laughs> um, one. Do you guys really like the quiet, what I would call boring, no offense if you like it, I guess. Um, you know, have like the same type of music, the chill music that I can't stand. Um, and like the, those, this one girl who was like making her um, breakfast with that music, no talking. Why did I say music? What is that? Um, no talking, just to me that's boring. But that's what I keep seeing in his vlogs. That's the new trend. I am old school Lily Singh. I keep mentioning her in this. But I am old school where you pick up the camera to say something and to add value. <laughs> I guess that's adding value too, but like... It's dragged on adding value. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's like my ADHD I need more to sustain my attention span than something like chill but yeah that's why i also like her she's very like chill quiet speaking but she's also she's fast speaking um but she talks she i don't know there's like a purpose to every scene it's not as like cinematic i guess i don't i don't know they're just different types i'm just saying is that what people really like the majority of people is that what you like it's hard, like, then I can see how having a short vlog is more, like, sought after, I don't know. I need to call my person <laughs> because um, it's late and he, I, I don't think he's waiting for me necessarily. <laughs> I think he is, but he's probably enjoying, he downloaded this new game that I saw first, I don't know. Uh, it came out, I think, this weekend. And he was going to try it. I think that's what he's doing. Maybe. I don't know. So he might not be waiting. He might be like, take your time, Marina. Don't... No, no rush in waking up. I can't believe it's like 1 o'clock already. Is it? Wait. Yeah, 106. Yeah. Oh, also, she got this the the corner light that I I eyed for a long time when I moved in here, and I was like, ah, that's a lot of money. I'll get to that later. And then here we are, unemployed, and you know, no no idea how this is gonna work out. Um, but yeah, this is my third glass of water. Be proud of me. He definitely would be proud of me. I'm proud of me. <laughs> All right. Um, I kind of gave up on like having coasters. I will talk to you later. Let me go do that. This is the coaster. I need to like clean it though because it has chocolate. But I saw these at I think Home Goods. I had a gift card from someone, and 
I'm into the marbly and I like the shape. It was in a circle, it was in a square. All right, I will talk to you later. Cool, bye. Oh, and did I edit you? No, I did not. So yeah, all right, I'll talk to you later, bye. I editing and in editing my things, I say bye a lot, so I'm, I'm gonna try not to, but excuse me, this is my fifth glass of water. That is absolutely abnormal for me. I don't care which arena you've met, that is abnormal. I'm, I think I'm reaching like, okay, I'm, I'm good to like put this down now. And so I'm about to get in the shower. I'm trying to be mindful that Nelson works during the week and is also more of an introvert than me. And so he needs a little bit more his own personal time or I don't know. Uh, but he was the one who said that we'll do something today and then I call and uh, kind of said, well, what do you want to do? Because you're the one calling. <laughs> it wasn't quite like that, but it was kind of like that. So I am going to try to take a shower and just uh, relax my trigger. <laughs> this is my jungle. <laughs> oh, babies. These are like toddlers now. These are growing, they're catching up. Yeah, I wanted to put these irises before they die. Oh gosh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, this one's like growing. So the vlog thing is saving. Maybe I have like allergies happening or something, like post nasal drip. I don't know. My nose is a little like, it's not stuffy like cold, but stuff is happening but I think that also might be because I drank water let's go take a shower do I feel like it no because I don't feel like it when I'm not anticipating something fun and cool <laughs> um, I feel like just curling in a ball but like the energy that I had just got like poured some water on top of it that's how I feel right now anyways let's go try this day out that's a that's the best attitude I can have right now Hi. <laughs> I uh, started putting this on and realized maybe I should turn you on to show you what I put. I'm trying this. I haven't worn this in a while. I feel like it's too dark for me. It's not too bad, I guess. Time to wash your hands. Alright, so I don't have a plan for makeup because I don't even know what we're doing and my contact lens Ventila de Contact is acting out so thinking just mascara one thing I don't tend to like but I don't have much to that I can do about it is try the concealer it's the veins and stuff on my eye I think I'll just put, I don't feel like using this. This is really old too, but uh, I'll just put the, just a little bit of a neutral eyeshadow. Oh, this is, this is the one. One that I really like is this one, this top one. It is a little too light. Um, and it's not the best makeup, it's not the one that will really stay on, but I like the, the neutrality of it. Oh, I just want the neck muscle. Oh my gosh. I think what I've learned from this past weekend and this week, current weekend is we need to make plans ahead of time and stick to them because um, it is so easy to wake up and not feel like doing anything. But we felt so good after last weekend. I felt really good and I haven't really worn this palette in ever, really. A little Dior. Maybe I should do uh, green instead of pink. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Making it up as I go along. 
it's gonna do the the crease situation or the you know side and crease my eye hurts when I press on it it's kind of not good is it <laughs> and then maybe do one of these this palette uh, I'm not a, a great gold skin tone but I kind of like this palette Again, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I don't have a plan for this at all. But I do know I need a little brush situation. Which one do I want? This is too, too big. I kind of just do that. I went from pink to neutral gold. Then cut. Oh my gosh, these people downstairs woke me up at 7.30. They were having like a TV or radio on so loud. 7.30 on Saturday. Don't understand how you can't think that's not a great idea. This one's going to be way too dark on the other side, but it is what it is. I uh, often... <laughs> wipe the brush or my fingers on my jeans don't do that but all right then let's do where's my there we go i've been using this one i don't even know what it is this pencil or this pencil, this brush. I think I got it from Sephora. I think it might be Sephora brand. But I've been using it for so long for eyelashes, and for uh, eyeliner, and for eyebrows. Uh, it's, it's not too hard. It's not too soft. This is the difference between... Like, a true makeup, <laughs> a true eyeshadow, and like, this. This is so, like, almost creamy, but it's not. It's powder. And so bold, like, pigmented, I think they call it in the industry. Um, yeah. It's crazy. What do you think so far? It's okay. It's not my favorite. This is way too dark on the sides for what I'm going for. Let's see if they have any pink in here. I've had this for a long time too. Well, they do. They have like a light, lightish pink. I'm gonna try this brush. This is not a good brush, but just make it more align with what I'm wearing. Here we go. Yeah. I used these top two together. I have not used these many brushes in a very, very, very long time. All right, so then, um, Need the mascara. Put this back. This is the best mascara I am going for, for I don't know, a few months now. Um, it's been my favorite mascara. Where did that come from? Sorry for the <laughs> weird angle. Interesting difference. Interesting difference. 
I think it opens your eyes. I think mascara opens your eyes up, even though I think like my mom would say kind of the opposite. But I think we have different definitions of what opened eyes is. Uh, maybe she won't, wouldn't. I don't think this contact lens situation will work out though. I don't really know what is happening. I can't even go like a, a month with contact lenses and I mean like wearing them not even every day. Wearing them maybe three times a week, maybe. Blush. Blush. That's right in front of me. Okay. Let's do. I don't usually do blush. Let's do this. Just for a little sparkle. I don't actually like it on the nose. It looks good with other people, but not me. Or not the ones that I use. Or I don't know. I used to be kind of good at makeup, and then I, I'm not anymore. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then eyelashes. I knew I was missing some. I mean, I brows. I knew I was missing something. I'm growing them right now, so they're not clean. this off so I could use uh, something more like this which is very very small I don't know if it's because I don't have the patience or I just don't like how it happens maybe it's probably I don't have the patience but I just use this this is Anastasia um, and just start with that one because that's the the big one and the light color is what I put all over I look like a clown a little bit I will also say that I don't like the eyebrows that are happening now that are not filled in and are very thick and brushed and it's just not to me it doesn't look good I have a thing about eyelashes uh, or I, I keep saying that eyebrows I don't I, I kind of get grossed out by eyebrows and um, yeah so I, pr I prefer this style that happened a while ago All right. here we go just adding a little bit of filling, 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 filling. I don't know what I'm saying. Unfortunately for this, I, uh, can't go with my usual lipstick that I like. Let's try like a pink one. How would that look? No. <laughs> no. I do not like it. I do not like it. This is Origins. I love their lipsticks, but they, I don't know if they discontinue them all over or just in stores or the stores around. I don't usually do lip uh, liner. It's kind of orangey. When I want, when I hear uh, nude lipstick, what I want to see is whatever the color of your skin is, not the color of your lips. I don't like lip colors. I am weird. I am really strange. Oh, I put this over here. Ooh, bright and yellow, bright and yellow, bright and yellow. <laughs> That's not a thing. I don't know why. I don't know what I was trying to say. Okay. Turn this light off. 
Uh, get the water. I need to make my bed. I'm so tired. I want to spend time together. I want to have energy. But right now, I don't know what is up with me. Also, where is my lipstick? I had songs stuck in my head, but the bright and yellow, bright and yellow. Not the original version. Where's my lipstick? Oh. Oh, I think it's in the car. Darn it. Okay, well. But I do need one more thing. No, still, when the play that way. All right, so I think I would have liked these, but it's missing. These, I don't know. I kind of like it. They're a different pink, or maybe they're the same pink and it blends. I don't know. I don't like it. I like this sort of, but not feeling the style. And then I like, I really like these. I think these have the pink in them, but then as I know them to be, <laughs> they tend to be very heavy and or like, I don't know, something about them makes my ears hurt. So one day when I'll have this be more standard and you'll be on like Instagram with me, I'll just post like, hey guys, which one do you prefer? I actually kind of like this one today. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling a little sparkly, little hoop situation. All right, so, all right. I will talk to you later. I'm gonna go. Apparently, my little brother wants his Xbox, which he barely uses, but of course, the one time that he wants to use it, it's not there. Um, So, I'm gonna go figure that out. And my hair will probably be like this. Uh, yeah. Alright, cool. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I said bye again. I'll just leave it at talk to you later.